Here we are with uh, Pikmin stuff again. Part two, I should say. Womp. But this bond. Okay, it's another thing. My dolphin has returned to the surface along with the pigment's onion. Being alone on the strange planet makes me somewhat uneasy, so I shall call pigment out of the onion. I'm going to use some of the onion and press A. I need to get like an official voice for Captain Olimar. Oh, and then I agree I would like name all the pigment or something, so maybe. Maybe like next episode I'll start naming these guys. I don't want to start getting names before it's too much. This, but like attacking two cans names all his Pikmin. And I want to do that too. I don't need names. So, names would be good or something. Maybe I can start like writing them down on like a notebook or something. Like at the end of this episode, count how many things I have and like name them all later. Do you think I can do that? Okay. Let's get you guys stronger. Attack the grass, my little Pikmin babies. Another interesting discovery, a local variety of grass produces a sort of yellow nectar. When the Pikmin drink this delicacy, they mature and suddenly into flowers. This appears to be Pikmin, this apparent Pikmin favorite seems to be full of nutrition. Closer observing, okay, no, I don't care anymore. Most of us are flowers now. Is that not correct? And most of us are flowers, we ride. We'll get more flowers later. Dooby 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 Okay, there we go, it's going faster. Hit the thingy too! Hit the thingy! This actually does make a lot of sense because Olimar himself actually can hurt enemies better than this. Attack it! Attack it with all your might, little tiny aliens that live on Earth in the future. Because apparently everybody lives on Earth in the future. There's no such thing as past Earth. If I can't just be past Earth. Hmm. Um, but. Then again, past Earth, all the Christians and stuff would get angry, like, well, but that's not how Earth was created, and then people went out, and so, so, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Making something take place in the past is not hard.
this runs the same thing, like, I don't care. Look, it's, I don't care. Leave something here for the others. Dang. I'm getting a lot of Pikmin up in here. These bubble orb. Oh no, my pigments. I'm picking mods. I keep being a wuss. Don't chase me. Okay, he's chasing me, he's not being a wuss. I shall take you down with three little pigments. flowers anymore, they're gonna be kinda messed up flowers. This is gonna take a while, but it's getting there. I would go back and get the other guys, but you know, then he'll start healing up, because the enemies in this game can heal up. I don't use them, so... Yes, yes, I know, it is noon, okay? I understand. I can't stay there at night, it would be dangerous. So try to get there before night, I understand. I am not a potato, I am not a baby, I am not an idiot, I know about stuff, okay? Hmm. Uh, you know what? You're getting on my nerves, you know that? You... No. Okay, stop it. You're... No. brought us news to allow us to crush her. Okay. Attack this flower so that we should get stronger. My brothers. Ran off the side and fell. It's crazy. Okay, my strong little brothers, my 45 Pikmin, apparently. Because I'm apparently a bad parent to Pikmin. See this? 
It is the eternal fuel dynamo with an limited energy supply. So wait, in the future, little aliens have energy supplies that are unlimited. Where on earth are humans at at this time? You take that to the ship. I'm gonna dang it. Okay, yeah. Gonna need you guys to help me get across here. Come on, come on back. Come on. I think you know what? You can do that. Do that. Okay, I don't care. Do it. We'll get these guys out of there by the end of the day. The other people. I'm trying to keep this ambiguous to avoid spoilers for anyone who doesn't know what comes next. Almost impossible at this point. Kind of like Final Fantasy VII, there's one big thing that happens, and if you don't know about it yet, you've never been on the internet ever, because everybody talks about it like 24-7. Okay, so he's got 2 out of 33, so when I get 5... Okay, so here's the deal, guys. When I get 5 spaceship pieces, I'm able to do something different, apparently. Back here, we walk completely normal. Let's stop talking and do some walking. You get it, cause like they say, if you, go, you can walk a walk, but you can't say like, you need to stop talking, you need to do the walk. But, yeah, I know, I'm terrible at making jokes. Yeah. <laughs> Unless somebody else already coined that. If somebody else already coined that, then you know they're terrible at jokes. My friends, I'm sending you off to... Land of Onions. Yes. I imagine onions are like Pokeballs. They go inside and imagine to go to some magical land. I shall come back tomorrow. I told them to stay safe. There we go. Here we go. Welcome, brothers. To land of yellow Pikmin, and you see, he was smart this time. He walked back. The first time he got knocked upside down. This time he walks backwards. He's smart. He's not gonna waste his time on this. He knows what he's doing. Thank you. Boom, boom, boom. The color is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First glance suggests just this one has what in some circles could be considered very large ears. It looks like it may weigh less than the others, and what other ways may it be different than red Pikmin. No matter, they are obviously quite similar, so I saw this one a Pikmin as well. You see, they're smart. He's not racist. He's gonna call the yellow person a Pikmin too. He's not gonna be racist. He's, he's gonna keep every single Pikmin he finds a Pikmin. Okay, you happy out there? He's, he's not. Yay. Because I know someone out there is going to be like, well, it's yellow. It's obviously not. And you know what? To you, go jump off the cliff and die. Uh, since I can't really see from the Yeah, here you go. Tonight, we ride. We now have nine yellow Pikmin. All of which look adorable. I hope I'm kidding. They don't look that adorable. They just look Pikmin adorable. They're yeah, just as adorable as every other Pikmin.
Yep, it's all sundown. Pigmen underneath dolphins and onions will probably go and dig there on their own, but if the others don't, then we'll womp. Oh, and Pigmen planted on the ground should be good. I don't think they'll be injured. I mean, they're living on the freaking ground. They should be fine. It's not like, oh, hold up, I live on the ground. I'm gonna get eaten by a monster because he's gonna be a jerk and pull me from on the ground. I'm afraid it doesn't work that way. If you live on the ground, everybody's gonna be nice to you, magic. Oh, dang it, now! Let me take this little guy with me. Go in here! Go in there, my brothers! I need 58 names right now for my current Pikmin. So, before day three, I'm going to get 58 names. God, that's going to take forever. Time to get a notebook, then. Okay. Where's a notebook for me to get 58 Pikmin names? Ooh, that's still going to take forever. I don't care what goes on. I can't find a notebook, so you gotta sit there for a minute. Yeah, find the radar, that's a good thing. Every spaceship needs a radar. That's like a number one thing. I'm at 30, so... I'm gonna need Pikmin in there. 58, God. Okay. 31. Okay, well, I'm just gonna stop the camera here. Because you guys...